Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I don't want to talk to you about Pandas features that have to do with numbers, with either integers or floats. Rather, I want to talk to you about a feature that has to do with strings, with text. Um, and it's a feature that many programmers run from when they hear it mentioned, regular expressions. Regular expressions, otherwise known as regex or regex, have been around for many, many years in the programming world. And they allow you to describe a pattern of text rather than the exact text. Um, this is super useful when you're working with text because often you don't want to say this letter, or that letter, or this position. You just want to sort of generally describe it as you would to another person. So why are so many programmers scared of regular expressions? Because the syntax can be very terse, hard to understand. It's, it's known that it can be hard to write regular expressions as even harder to debug them. I will argue, by the way, that they are not that hard to learn, that you definitely can. I have a free email course that you can subscribe to that within two weeks you will know regular expressions and each lesson is really short and really easy. I promise you, you can use them and learn them really quickly. But let's assume that you already know regular expressions. You want to see how to apply them inside of pandas. So I'm going to load up pandas here. I'm just going to create a simple series. I'm going to say s equals a series and I'm not going to create one of numbers. I'm just going to create with this is a bunch of words for my video all about using regular expressions to extract text and find patterns uh, in pandas. Okay, I think that's enough. All right, and so I have my series now. It has 22 words in it. And so let's say I want to find, let's find all of the words containing the letter I. So I'm going to say here s.stir.contains. I'm going to use the stir accessor on s on my series. And because it's a series of strings, it's not a problem. I'll then apply the contains method and I'll say I, and I get back a Boolean series. I can apply that Boolean series. I can say s.lock of that, and I get all the words containing I. Fantastic. What if I do the same thing with a letter E? Well, now I'm going to say s.stir contains of E, and I'll apply that to s.lock. And sure enough, now I have all the words containing E. But let's find all of the words containing either E or I. How would I do that? Well, option one is to use or the vertical bar to combine our two Boolean series for a new one that we apply as a mask index. Meaning, I will say Esther contains E or Esther contains I. And sure enough, I now get all the words containing either E or I. Not a problem, this does work. But option two is use a regular expression. What I can do is I can say, I'm going to create a character class, meaning a small set of characters that any one of which can, should match our string. So I'm going to say here, I guess I can just paste this, right? S.lock, Esther contains, and I'm going to say EI. Notice this, that square brackets EI means one of these characters must match. Now it could be anywhere in there at the beginning, at the end of the string, it doesn't really matter. So if I do this, sure enough, I get exactly the same result back. Now I will warn you, I will warn you that the default behavior of contains is indeed to apply regular expressions, but let's be ex you know, explicit about using regular expressions. All right, and especially since in the future, this might, you know, the default might switch to false. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm going to take my same call here to s.lock, and then I'm going to call s.stir.contains. And here I'm going to pass a second argument, a keyword argument. I'm going to say here, uh, regex equals true. And now we've made it explicit, right? Clearly state and show that we're using regular expressions. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, there we go. Goodness gracious. Well, that was exciting. All right. So we clearly state and show that we're using regular expressions and we get now this same thing back. So you can use them and you can do all sorts of wild things, right? Like what I can do is I can say s stir contains and I'm going to say from the beginning of the word, I want one, two, three, and then A-I-O-U. So I want a vowel to be the fourth character in there. And am I going to find anything like that? Yeah, sure enough, I did. I can say s.lock of this and then I get the words in which a vowel is the fourth character from the start. Right, so anchor to the start and then find the fourth character is a vowel. 
Now, there are other methods in pandas that also use this. So if I say here, let's like look at this. So if I now find, I'm going to say s dot uh, replace, and I can say s dot replace, and this is a series method. It's not a string method particularly. And I can say here, I want to find anything that has i that's is and change it to be capital is. So change lowercase is to capitalized, or I guess say you know capital all caps is, and look what we get back. S dot replace returns a new series in which is is capitalized. So far, so good. But what if I want to do this to any word containing the two characters is? Well, then I could say s dot replace, and I'm going to say here dot star is dot star capital is, and then we have to say regus equals true. And now it's going to say that for this, and it's going to say that for is, both of those values, right? Because this has is in it, and is obviously has is in it. And I can do that for any regular expression I might want. There are a whole bunch of methods in pandas that take this regex equals true as an optional keyword argument, and finding them can sometimes be a little difficult. Many, many, many string methods do this, and obviously replace as well, but it's super, super useful for finding text, replacing text, and just manipulating text in general. So the next time you have to work with text, the next time you are applying string methods in pandas or even replace in pandas, definitely, definitely, definitely check to see if it supports regex equals true. And if so, you don't have to run away in horror. You can definitely use the regular expression engine to uh, make things better. I hope this video was useful and interesting. Lots more coming. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos about Python and Pandas.